Hello YouTube, this is the Booty Warrior, and in case you guys don't know, uh, Sony just recently today released some news about a new quote-unquote portable console that they're working on. It's called the PlayStation Portal. Mmm, clever. Instead of the portable, it's the PlayStation Portal. <laughs> ah, so smart. But anyway, um, I've done a little bit of research into the console so far. I've listened to some IGN videos about it. And I gotta be honest, I am not impressed at all by what this thing is offering me so far. Like, first of all, it's not even really a portable console. This is... It's almost like a glorified... It's basically a glorified TV screen. It's just a glorified mini TV screen for you to stream PS5 games to. And it's so disappointing that Sony isn't dipping their foot into the proverbial uh, portable gaming water again like they used to. Like, what was it? I can't remember if it was like the PSP or the Vita, but it feels like it was so long ago since Sony really messed with portable gaming. Which is really weird because theoretically, like, it would appeal to casuals way more than just home console stuff. But yeah, so it's essentially... How this thing works, from what I understand, from what I've been reading about it, is it requires you, first of all, this thing works off of remote play, which in case you guys don't know, sucks balls. Supposedly they're going to make it a little bit better with this machine, but up until now, uh, remote play has never been good. It's always had latency and lag issues. Instead of like being able to play games locally from the machine, you stream them from your PS5 to this... Uh, Sony PlayStation Portal, and it completely relies on you having an internet connection, as there doesn't really seem to be any way to, like, download games to the machine so that you can play them offline. Now, maybe Sony will release more news about it before the console, it's not even really a console, before it comes out, this, this device, I suppose, this display, I should probably just call it. Um, and also, I think... This is more of like a personal point, but I think the design of the machine just looks really dumb. Like, it's literally an Android phone with PlayStation controller sticks off to the side. It looks so awkward. And, and it's so obvious that you're trying to rip off the design of, like, the Nintendo Switch. Except the Nintendo Switch is like a proper handheld console. It seems like it's following suit with the Steam Deck and the Nintendo Switch. And this thing is like $200. God fucking help you if you don't already own a PS5. Because then you have to buy a PS5 and then buy this. And the cherry on the shit Sunday is apparently this device doesn't even have Bluetooth support. It conveniently only supports products that Sony makes. So if you want to use like earbuds or headphones or whatever, uh, you have to buy the PlayStation headset and the PlayStation earbuds to get value out of them. Yeah, totally not just nickel and diming the customer as much as possible, Sony, okay? Kiss my fucking ass. And I'm not even sure what it's really supposed to appeal to other than, like, really, really hardcore Sony fans. Which, I don't know, maybe they can make their bank that with, with that because uh, Sony fans are pretty dedicated to the cause, so to speak. But for casual gamers, or people that are just kind of, like, middle of the road with Sony, like, they're just, like, eh, Sony's okay, I'm not, like, a huge fan of them. People like that, like, don't get the PlayStation Portal, okay? It's just dumb garbage. It seems like, I almost want to go so far as to call it a scam. I, I don't know what the fuck Sony's even thinking with this. Ah uh, man, I really wish that Sony, it feels like Sony has just been making so many terrible business decisions lately. So yeah, uh, thanks Sony, but I'm gonna go ahead and just stick with possibly considering it like a Steam Deck or a Switch if I really want to get into uh, portable gaming, which is a damn shame. Because on the surface, like, like this thing is only $200, if this was like a proper portable device, that'd be badass, okay? $200 for a portable modern console? Okay, sign me up as long as like the frame rates are good. Now, if I am to defend this thing at all, from what I understand, um, I mean, I guess we don't have too much information about the performance of this device, but from what I understand, it doesn't make too many sacrifices to the visual fidelity, or the frame rate, or anything like that, but I suppose we'll see when it gets released proper. But yeah, uh, I just wanted to get that off my chest. Yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.